Hello there, good day. Yeah, welcome back to our channel. This is the Obun Naya Apple Case, and we want to welcome you back. Um, if you are a subscriber, thank you for having been with us all this while, for watching our videos, for getting blessed, for um, liking the videos, and for spreading the word. If this is your first time, do where to hit the subscription button, hit it right there, hit the, noti the notification bell, and then you'll be notified of every video that we make. Um, we trust that as you go with us through this channel as you go with us day by day week by week month by month you will look back after some time and you will say ah this channel has really improved my life this channel has really blessed me all right um in this video i want to introduce a concept to us not introduce her but um there's something we want to start doing um maybe this week or next week or but in the nearest future want to start um praying together in this channel so amongst every other video we are doing about life about um relationship about whatever family about anything we will be adding um prayer sessions to them so we'll come and then we'll pray together we'll make decrees together we'll make declarations together and we'll watch our life you know you know um being transformed by god by the spirit of god so um but before we start that i i i thought it wise to give a brief overview on the need to pray on the need to pray so you, you've been wondering you go to church and you are like and you know you are being told pray every believer must pray there are two things two things that are important in the life of every believer we are being told every time it is the word of god it is prayer but you may be there and you are wondering why what is it about prayer what is this thing about prayer why am i being encouraged every time to pray what is it about prayer and so in the next couple of minutes um that's what we'll be looking at so that when we start these prayer videos, you will have the understanding needed to, you know, to follow through with it. You will have the the knowledge needed to make um to make it fruitful for your life and for your family. Because when 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 it comes to prayer, and when it comes to generally to life generally, the decisions you make, um, it, it does not just affect you. It goes beyond you. The scripture says and the word of the lord came to jacob and lighted up israel so the word came to a man and a whole nation was affected so in the same way when you take a decision it does not just affect you it affects a generation it affects your family it affects people around you so our 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 desire is that as you follow through with us in this journey in this prayer journey in the, in this in these times of prayer meetings that your life and your family and your destiny and those that are attached to you in your destiny will never remain the same hallelujah so let's just pray for some moment and ask God to take charge even as we've started. Let your word come to us, O God, Spirit of God, a light upon our hearts. Grant us understanding. Let us understand that which you desire us to understand this day. In the name of Jesus, I open up our understandings by the Spirit. We have understanding of the world. In the name of Jesus, our eyes are enlightened. Our eyes are flooded with light. Our understanding is flooded with light in the name of jesus father lord we thank you in the name of jesus we have prayed amen so um quickly um you look at prayer and you are asking what's so important about prayer um i'll start by looking at the life of jesus just as as a, a kind of introduction so when you study the life of jesus you see that he gave priority to prayer right when you, when you read the account of matthew mark um Matthew, Mark, John, Luke, yeah, right? You you see that Jesus was a man of prayer. So, for example, you read in Mark chapter 1, verse 35, it says, And a great while before day, he said, Jesus arose, departed into a quiet place, and there he prayed. And when you read the verses before that, um, verse 35, you, you, you find out that Jesus was preoccupied with activities the previous day. So the previous day, there was healing, there was a healing meeting, there was a teaching, there was a lot of things. Yet, we read in verse 35, rising up a great while before them. It means that Jesus gave a, a great priority to prayer. 
He couldn't afford to miss his time of prayer with God. He could not afford to allow activities to take away his times of communion, his times of fellowship. So regardless of what he was doing for God, regardless of the ministry he was carrying out, regardless of the teachings he was carrying out, regardless of the healings he was giving out, regardless of everything he was doing, he made sure that his prayer life did not suffer. So in other places, you, you, you read where Jesus departed into a mountain and prayed there through the night. An example is in Luke chapter 6 and verse 12. He said he climbed the mountain and he stayed there in prayer till they break, right? And then when he descended, he chose his disciples. He chose them who we call the 12 apostles, right? And then at other points, he would, he would tell his disciples, stay here, let me go yonder and pray. So you see after a miracle, um, the disciples are, you know, you know, um, running around. Jesus is leaving the multitude and he's going to the mountain to pray. So we see that Jesus was a man that gave priority to prayer. And the question now is why? Why? Now, before we even start understanding the reasons, can I, <laughs> can I tell you something? The mere fact that Jesus did it, should make you want to do it even if you don't understand the reason <laughs> do you understand though reasons help you to do something with with understanding but i'm saying that even without understanding the reason behind something as long as the the source is true and you can see the results because in the life of jesus you can see you can see the result of the prayers you know the disciples began to see those results and they asked jesus teach us to pray so this is jesus and his disciples and then he will leave his disciples and go and pray and then when he comes down he will say bring uh, the lunatic and he will say out and the demon goes the demon that the apostles the disciples have been trying to cast out for the whole time Jesus just comes down and says, bring, bring the boy here, go, and, and, the, and the demon goes. So we see the disciples following Jesus, and he's on the teaching um, um, expedition, and the multitude begin to get hungry, and he says, what do you have? Five loaves, two fishes, bring it, and he lifted it up, and, they, and he fed 5,000. So we see that the disciples began to understand that there is something unusual about this man. And they began to study him and they saw that he gave priority to prayer. And he got to a point, they said, Master, teach us to pray. They had understood by experience that, ah, this is where the source of this man's power is. Do you understand? So I'm saying that, you know, another thing is that Jesus came as an example. If you agree to that truth, then you should, you should start doing what Jesus is doing, even if you yet do not understand. So, First Peter will tell us that he came as an example, so that we can follow him. Do you understand? So, but that um, um, by the side, why did Jesus give so much priority to prayer? I believe it was because of a simple reason. You know, Jesus understood that when it comes to the arts, when it comes to to the material universe it takes prayer to gain dominion over the earth so the scripture will say in the book of psalm 115 verse 16 he said the heaven even the heaven of the heavens is the lord's but the earth he has given to the sons of men it means that the heaven belongs to God. It means that the things that happen in heaven, God takes control. God takes dominion over everything happening in heaven. But when it comes to the earth, men, they have to do something. Because God has committed the earth to men. Do you understand? So the earth has been given to man to dominate. And there must be a form of interaction between the spirit realm and that man before that man can have the appropriate dominion on earth. So in prayer, that connection is, is, is made. In prayer, that partnership is, is done. And then the, 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 um, the spirit realm begins to um, um, legally influence the earth because a man has granted permission through prayer. 
Do you understand? So Jesus understood these things. He understood that before we can have our place on earth, there must be the 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 the, the, the um the prayer altar. Before man can take his place of dominion on earth, there must be the an effective prayer altar. Because we begin to understand that when God created man in the book of Genesis chapter one, He told man. Have dominion over the earth, subdue the earth. In that statement, subdue the earth, we see that there is a contention. There is going to be a contention on the earth because prior to that time, the devil has been cast out of heaven. According to Revelation chapter 12, right? He says that there was war in heaven, and then Angel and um, my, Angel Michael and his angels fought against the dragon and the beast, and then the dragon and the and his angels were cast out of heaven and they came upon the earth. So we understand that, that there is there is there is an entity on earth that will not leave the earth for you to dominate. There is an entity on earth that will not leave your family for you to dominate if you do not subdue him. There is the devil that will not leave your job for you to be fruitful in your job, for you to be fruitful in your life, for, you, for your children to be fruitful if you don't put him out of place. So you have to subdue the devil. And what is the, the, the platform for that um for you to subdue the devil is the altar of prayer. So a man that does not pray, little one that Jesus told his disciples, I am going to tell you a parable to the end that you understand that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Luke chapter 18 verse 1, men ought always to pray and not to faint. So we understand that as long as you are a man, as long as you are living on earth, as long as you have a body, you have to pray. Prayer, you cannot do without prayer. You pray to advance. You pray to make progress. You pray to protect yourself from the influences of darkness around you. So without prayer, you are giving your life, you are making your life open to darkness. Do you understand? So let's quickly read something about um, prayer. What is the importance of prayer? I've said a lot of things, but let me bring up like two scriptures and then we we'll tie it up there. In the book of Mark chapter 11 and verse 24, Jesus was teaching his disciples. Now the background story is that, you know, they entered um, Jerusalem and Jesus saw a fig tree and there was, not, not, there was nothing there and he crossed the fig tree. And the next day, they were passing. The disciples looked and saw the fig tree, and the fig tree has had withered according to the word of Jesus. And they were asking him, Master, look, look at the fig tree. And he began to explain to them, This is the system that makes things work on earth. This is the way to take charge. And he told them in verse 24, Say, Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray. Believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. He says, whatsoever you desire, when you pray. He did not say, if you pray. So the first step to having your desires met, to having your, to having your desires fulfilled, to having your needs met is prayer. He says, whatsoever, no matter what it is that you desire, whether, oh, no matter what, no matter what, no matter what that your desire is, he's saying that the handle to open it is prayer. He says, whatsoever ye desire, when you pray, he didn't say if you pray, he didn't say if. That means he was saying that prayer must be done first of all before we start um, talking about other other things. He talked about believing. So he said, when you pray, believe that you will receive and you will, and you will have them, right? So he was saying that prayer is the first thing before we start talking about your faith. Before we start talking about you believing, you must first of all pray before you can have your desires met. So he said, whatsoever things you desire. So are you desiring a good marriage? Are you desiring a good job? Are you desiring protection? Are you desiring, desiring pro provision? Are you desiring that your children will grow up in the way of the Lord? Say, whatsoever ye desire. Are you desiring a spouse? Are you desiring a good car? He said, whatsoever ye desire, when you pray, it means that if you do not pray, your desires will not be met. The book of Proverbs will say that um, a sluggard, he desired but has nothing. But the hands of the diligent shall be made fat. So if you keep desiring and you are not doing something about your desire, you will not have anything. 
So the first thing to do about your desire is to pray. Yes, you may, you, you may say that hard work is the door, but prayer is the handle to the door. You may say that, yes, mercy is the door, but prayer is the, is the, is the, is the hand to the door. So anything that you are seeking for, anything that ye desire, when you pray, it means that you must pray for you to have your desires. Are you understanding? Kalonzi yeta, jekana zude peluria vinso talandia. You must pray to have your desires. O monoko la sisi falamande shiga na kadabandia. Could it be that the reason your desires have not been met is that you have not given your heart to prayer over that over that desire? Could it be that that thing you've been expecting from God? Because sometimes we we, we just want God to act. We just want God to, to just invade the earth and do things. But it does not work that way. There is a system of oppression. There is a system that God works with. We just want him to invade the earth. But he has handed over the earth to us. And he's saying, just through prayer, make things happen on earth. Oh, Shalabakan de Sude Parasubia, in Copalia, de Russia de la Cadia, de Rus Evandus y Capalia, Ziso Frante Capalatia. You may continue to go through oppression until you pray. You know, the whole nation of Israel, they were in, in under oppression from the prophets of Baal. And it took a man, Elijah, to climb up the mount and con. Ah, 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 and he put his head in between his nails. Oh, and the situation of a nation changed through prayer. Now, one final scripture I would love us to, to look at is in the book of James, right? James, James chapter 5. Now, ah, James began to write. And what in okay, let me read the scripture first. Before I tell you, before I tell you what interest one of the things that interests me in that scripture, James chapter 5, verse 13. It says, Are you having troubles? You should pray. <laughs> King James will say, Are are you are you afflicted? Pray. Do you understand? So he said, Are you having troubles? You should pray. That means that they the recommendation of Apostle James for troubles is prayer. And one thing that interests me is how he was so confident about what he was saying. He said, are ye afflicted? Pray. It means that he believed with all his heart that once you pray, the affliction is solved. The affliction will end. So this was a man that has experienced answers to prayer. It takes somebody that has that has gone down the realms of of. of of God to have this kind of confidence and recommend prayers for affliction. He was saying, once we pray, the affliction is gone. Oh, hapakosia, melonsia, shakapanosia. Are there are there afflictions in your life right now? Are there things that that you are saying, God? When will you lift this body from off my neck, from off my shoulder? God is saying, pray. God is saying, pray. Our first prayer today is that we are going to ask God to strengthen us so that we can call upon his name. You know, it takes a strengthening of our inner man to be able to pray. You know, prayer is not what our flesh wants to do. You know, Jesus told them, took his disciples to the garden. Then he took three aside and told them, um, my, I am exceedingly sorrowful even unto death. Stay with me. Stand in prayer with me. And then he left them, went yonder and prayed. When he came back, they were sleeping. So, prayer is not something that the flesh wants to do. It's not something that the body wants to do. So you must be quickened from the inside. You must be quickened before you can lay hands on the horns of the of the altar and intercede and pray. You must be quickened. He says, quicken me and I will call upon your name. That's in the book of Psalm. Quicken me. So your first prayer is, Lord, as I have understood the need for prayer, quicken me on my insider. Quicken me on, on my inside. Let me lay hold. 
Ekosia, in Palunzia, let me lay hold in the name of Jesus. Le Sude Capalia, in Cosia, De Lorise, Je Capale, Russe Villa, Tobolonde, E Shaka Capa, Unse Telo, Beruse Vanaha, Le Mahunsia, quicken me on the inside spirit of God. Quicken me on the inside that I may lay hold, that I may approach her. Oh, Shkibin, Jana, Tebele, Kamin, Shebele, Tande, Balakaida, Jeketebia, Savalatan, Devele, Tia, Kabalatan, Delegatia, Dadia, Jigata, Yakata, Mina, Nakayata, Nabalati, Evela, Tia, Kabalati, Evela, Temele, Kabaladi, Evela, Temene, Kabaladada, Jigata, Tali, Jevela, Tamana, Riva, Latunze, Palatia, Kabaladeja, Banada, Resu, Devela, Tia, Kabalati, Evela, Menea, Kabalada, Bala tu bala ti anda bala da ishi na manazia kome nenzia imana ye je bala tozi bala di e kai donza bala ti a imana ya je baba se bela kabarando si bala ta quicki nos o God ha quicki nos o God ha ah that the Lord. You know, part of the quickening is that the Lord, the, the, the angel of the Lord taps you in the night and wakes you up and you are energized to pray. Part of the quickening is that tapping, is that tapping in the middle of the night. He taps you and you wake up and you are energized to pray. You are not struggling. The words are coming. The words are pouring out from your spirit man. Oh, Shabalasie, Kova, Rusia, Imanakwa, Zesudi, Valatonja, Ah, Le Ruse, Vanatia, Kombra, Hasiada, Le Ruse, Valatania, Giosi, Valata, Restope, Landosia, Varande, Rescoba, Lozieta, Le Loto, Varandia, Gigitica Pelede, Rossi, Valata, Di Balate, Zezo, Zupenedo, Resabalatis, Openahandia, O sweet spirit of grace. Quicken us, Ah, Shamana, Mana, Manatania, Cabalatia, Veleta, Quicken us to call upon your name, Jesus. Quicken us, Quicken us to approach. Beckon upon us to approach. Beckon upon us to approach the courts of Elohim. <laughs> oh, beckon on us. Quicken us on the inside that we may approach. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. Now, we will be, um, by the grace of God, we will be praying. We will be praying weekly. By the grace of God, we will be praying weekly. Do well to join us every week to intercede for your life, to intercede for your family, to intercede, to, to take your destiny, your purpose in life in your hands and advance. Oh, the Spirit of the Lord will cause things to work out for you. We yield this platform to the Spirit of God. We yield these prayer sessions to the Holy Ghost as His platform to invade our lives, as His platform to take a hold of our lives and make it a sign and a wonder. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you for joining. We hope to be seeing you in our weekly prayer um, sessions. Do it to um, drop your comments, like the video, share the video, let it get to as many people as possible. Let many people be blessed on your account. God bless you and see you in our next video. Thank you. And if you've not subscribed, subscribe and click the notification bell. You'll be notified of all our videos. Thank you. God bless you. I love you. God loves you. Do have a lovely day. Bye.